Hey guys, my name is Ben and this is IT Garage. This is my first video, so it'll probably be a little bit awkward. Uh, we'll probably look back at this and laugh. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it'll be that painful. Today we're gonna build this wagon. Uh, it's pretty cool, uh, just a nice little wagon. Sits a couple inches off the ground, maybe an inch off the ground. Uh, and it's pretty neat, I think it's cool. Uh, and you don't need any special tools to make this happen. Whatever you have into your wagon and about $15 in hardware and the big piece of aluminum up here. And we still have plenty of aluminum left for more projects. So stick around. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do this. Uh, it doesn't really take too long. Being distracted and filming and all sorts of different things. Uh, it took me probably about two hours to get it done. Uh, but if you knew what you needed and you had some stuff laying around, didn't have to go to the hardware store two times, uh, you could probably get it done a lot quicker. This is the second wagon that I've done after doing another one just uh, for fun before I started filming. I'll show that one to you guys here probably at the end. Uh, who knows? But uh, like I said, this is IT Garage. Uh, it's going to be the first video uh, and it's not even a garage. This is a carport. Uh, you can see outside. You can probably see all my edits when it's gonna be light and dark and all that fun stuff. But we're just out here and we're doing it. Uh, this is kind of what I do uh, outside work, which is IT related. And I'm not trained in any of this. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. You can probably do what I'm about to do better than me, but that's all right. Uh, I just wanted to create a channel for people like myself that just need that little bit of boost of, hey, Go outside, get this done. It's really not that bad. All right, guys, welcome back. Here's a, a project I've been working on uh, before I decided to start filming stuff. This is a radio super wagon from the mid 60s. I actually bought this off the uh, guy who used this as his childhood wagon. So if you're watching, sorry, I cut up your wagon, man. But uh, this is going to be used for my daughter uh, when we take the car to car shows. When that's finished up, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that finished up here soon. Just a couple things left on it. But made this whole frame. Uh, here, made the whole frame. Uh, mounted the wheels to it. Mounted the license plates to some metal so that she can't get her fingers down in there. Still need to make sure that it's totally safe for her. Make sure there's no uh, sharp points or anything like that. And need to extend the handle on this wagon. But that's not what we're working on today. Today we're going to work on the big wagon back here, which is the Radio Flyer Traveler. And this wagon is new-ish. Um, I don't know. It's, it's new. <laughs> so we're going to take this apart today. And uh, we got this piece of metal here from the scrapyard. And so you'll see that here soon. Uh, going to get that. It's a pretty cool place just down the road. So I'd like to go there a lot, see what they have. Found some cool stuff there. And we're going to use this to make this wagon into something similar to this. So stay tuned. Hopefully you like it. All right, so here we are at the scrapyard. Trying to figure out if we can find something to make work. So I got a little bit of everything here. Uh, I found some stuff here in the past. Uh, just scrap metal, but also uh, things that you can use just around the house. I found a fireplace, and I can show all you guys all that sort of stuff. But start looking around, see if we can find something. I know it needs to be about five and a half inches wide and about 16 inches long. So we'll see what we can find. I see some, looks like aluminum over there in the corner. So we'll see if we can get back there and see what we can find. Sometimes you just got to step over everything and... They seem to have got a whole bunch of these big, giant electric motors, maybe? Is that what these are? I'm not quite sure. So we'll see uh, over here. This looks like it might work. I think this will work. We'll see if we can make it happen. First thing first uh, is we are going to totally remove all of this uh, axle and support underneath here because we're going to actually mount the wheels directly to the body right here we're not going to make a frame 
like that one has. Uh, that was an old body. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. So that one, I didn't feel like we could just mount the wheel right to the body. But this one, I feel like we absolutely can. So we're going to mount the wheel right to the body. I'm thinking right in front of this post here. Uh, but we'll play around with that and see. I uh, kind of want to be able to see as much as the flyer as possible. You know, you don't want to block it all. Um, going to use the same wheels. Nothing's going to change there. The wood's going to stay on. This is going to be super easy. Yeah, famous last words. So we'll see how this goes. But first, we're going to start by taking all these out back here. And then we're going to come up here in the front, do the same thing. Just remove this whole thing and just drop it out of the way. Set it off to the side. We'll worry about that later. Alright, so as with most everything, it's not quite as simple as you think. Uh, from what I was seeing online, you could just flip this upside down and bam, it would work. But guess what? They don't touch. So I think what we can do is looking at this, I bet if we just take this cone mount off, and what that does is all it does is limit the steering so you can't spin it back 180 degrees. So we'll just take this off with that one bolt, and that should lower it enough so that we can get that sitting on the ground. And this came off super easy. Everything came off right away. 7 16 bolt in the flathead, and that came off in, what, 8 bolts? Yeah, 8 bolts. So super simple there. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to do some sort of mock-up and see where those wheels are going to go in the back. We'll drill some holes, we'll run to the hardware store, and we will grab some bolts that are long enough to go in there, and we'll make it work. But first, let's take this off. Alright, so just as I thought, once we took that uh, mount off over there, sure enough, flip it upside down, slides back nice and easy. Obviously not a ton of room there, but that's alright, the whole point of this is to be a you know, cool little low riders. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So now I need to measure that plate over here that I got. Uh, this is aluminum. I don't know what thickness it is. Uh, I can measure it, but that's no fun. So this is going to have to be, you know, just wider than these bolt holes, than these holes down here. And it's going to have to stick out just enough so that we can turn the wagon back and forth. Uh, because you can't have the steering underneath when the body sits lower than the wheels do. So we'll see what we can do. All right, got the piece of aluminum up here. Uh, still don't know how thick it is. Still doesn't really matter. It's definitely sturdy enough. That's all I need to know. Uh, and it was, I think this whole sheet was $6 at the scrapyard. So we'll have plenty for other projects. But I'm just going to take a Harbor Freight Sawzall with a... Harbor Freight or whatever blade and hopefully that will cut this uh, if not we have some bigger tools that we can use but we'll start uh, smallest first you know not try to overkill it so here we go alright so here's a little quick mock-up uh, as you can see it is not on the ground there is a gap uh, so it'll probably be a little bit taller than that uh, at the end but the front is gonna be pretty low um, you know, this isn't exactly a wagon to go, you know, off-roading. This is going to be for pavement at car shows and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, wheelchair ramps only, basically. No, no curbs on this one. But that's all right. It's fun. Uh, like I got this wagon for 15 20 bucks, and I have five more dollars into it. So, cool little wagon for 20 bucks. We're going to go grab some bolts. Looks like they're going to have to be about four and a half inches long. Grab some washers and that. Uh, make sure it fits that as like an axle and then we'll get it all bolted up because the front we're going to use the bolt that came off that originally which we left over here in our little bolt bin uh, so it's one of those in there or actually it's up here I lied there it is so that's going to be our same bolt for the front we're going to reuse that we have it why not free and then the, the back we're going to drill into the side of the body bolt her up and we should be good to go Alright, so here we are with the wheel in the hardware store. 
with all the nuts and bolts. So we're gonna see what we can find. I know that they're over here probably, and then we'll see what we can get. All right, so we were in the harbor, in the harbor freight, <laughs> in the hardware store, and we did find what we need. It's really dark in here. Let me get you guys out in the light, just because it is, uh, you know, six o'clock on East Coast time here. So still in winter, it's it's dark outside. So thankfully we got lights in here. So here's what we got. We got some threaded all rod. So all this is is I think it's half inch, half inch, and we're going to take that, stick it right about there, and then we'll bolt it on the inside. Put another bolt on the outside. It'll stick out just where we need it to, and then we will put another bolt where the back of the wheel will be, a washer, and then a bolt on the front of the wheel. And then I'll hold the wheel on, and then we'll be good to go. It's uh should be that simple. So we'll see. Here's my bag of bag of nuts. So, <laughs> all right. But well, I will put you back on time lapse, and we'll see how this goes. I got these cut. They're about the same length. They're eh, pretty close. Not bad for just measuring and cutting with the sawzall. Uh, they're pretty boogered up a little bit here on the ends, just from. Uh, well, lack of the right tools, but that's all right. That's kind of what we're about. So maybe I'll invest in a uh, vice uh, stick on that table. Maybe I won't. Who knows? So we'll see. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this body up there on that on that uh, cart. We're gonna figure out where exactly that these need to get mounted. Um, and again, we're just gonna make it as close as possible. It's not exact if it's off by. A, quarter of an inch frontward backward up down I don't really think anyone's gonna notice uh, so I'm not selling this to make money I'm selling this to pull my daughter around and any future kids and nieces and nephews and all that fun stuff so this is just a fun little project for me if it's off by a little bit eh, just don't look at it that hard it'll be all right Alright, so like an amateur YouTuber that I am, I uh, totally worked in the back side where you guys can see, you know, it happens. It'll happen again. This won't be the last time. But what I did was I took the wheel and I put the rod through it uh, that we're going to use as an axle. And I dipped, I spray painted it just a little bit and then I kind of held it up where I wanted it to go. And so now you can see just about where we need to mark that hole but I realized that if this is going to be right there I won't be able to put the nut on that back side so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull it out just a little bit more forward than I'd like but just so that we can fit that nut on so I'm going to go ahead and, and drill that hole I might move it down just a little bit more just to make sure that we got enough clearance in the back so I'm going to drill that right about there and uh, I guess 7 16 I think is what this is maybe a half inch and we'll knock it up on this side, make sure we're happy with it, which at that point it's basically too late anyways. And uh, we'll match it on the other side. And we'll just measure the back side off this bolt, uh, which isn't, isn't there. But we'll measure it off the back side, duplicate it on the other side. We'll put the rods in, we'll get the wheels mounted. Gotta say, I think that looks pretty good. I think that's right where it should be. I wish you could see more of the radio flyer. Uh, but you can still see the traveler, so that's enough for me. But I got this all rod here, and so got a bolt there on the inside with a washer, washer on the outside, which is about as close, there we go, about as close to that wood as you can get. So rather be lucky than good with that one. Yeah, I couldn't have planned that better. That's, that's so close. So we'll crank those two down, and then we'll use this there's a nut on the back side here of this wheel we'll put a washer another nut here and we'll uh, either thread lock this or maybe we'll get a lock nut or maybe we'll just throw a little tiny tack weld on the back uh, just to make sure that nut doesn't spin and we can kind of get it as close to this as we want we can pull it out we can slide it in and we got a little bit of room to play with so if we want to we can slide it all in towards the inside of the wagon or we can leave a little bit hanging out on the outside here 
not quite sure what the game plan is going to be yet, but not too bad. And now what we'll do is basically take this off, figure out where that hole is in comparison to that hole, and we will duplicate it over here on this side. Alright, so as most projects go for me, uh, I am a couple nuts short. <laughs> so, almost there, not quite there. We got the other one drilled out, and like I said, it's a little bit further forward than that one is, but unless someone's really staring at this and is going to get nitpicky, I don't think it's going to be an issue. So let's get this on. That's going to give us uh, you know, a couple, couple two, two, three fingers of uh, clearance there on the ground in the back. Uh, the front's definitely going to be closer to the ground. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to take this plate right here that we cut uh, just with a sawzall, by the way. It ended up working just fine. And uh, we're going to set this underneath here, mark out the dots to uh, get that drilled out. We're going to drill it out, mount it up uh, so it's connected to the wagon. Then we'll set it on the ground, figure, or maybe leave it up here, figure out where exactly that needs to go, and then we'll be golden, and we'll get that going. So, phone died. Uh, put it back on the charger over there. Uh, got the work done. Uh, all we did was uh, put four holes in this piece of metal just with a uh, regular old drill bit and uh, just a little center punch from Harbor Freight and measured it up. Got it about equal left to right. Got it about equal, you know, uh, angle. So it comes out about as straight as it's gonna. And now we're going to put the front wheels on here. And then I think we'll do a late night run to Home Depot if there's time or Lowe's or, you know, one of the, the big box stores as opposed to the local guy. And uh, we'll grab the couple nuts that were short over here and make sure I got some blue Loctite and we'll be good to go. Hey everyone, we're back today. Just uh, couldn't get out here till right now. So we ended up going to that big orange store and got some more stuff. I think I'm going to go with these. Uh, this is the same thread pitch and everything. Uh, same even length. I got five inches, which is about what we cut this to uh, last night. But I think that just a washer and this head, uh, this hex head in this inside, is going to look a lot nicer than this boogered up mess down here. So we're going to go ahead and replace those out right now. And uh, I got some uh, lock, some nylon lock nuts uh, that'll go on the outside. That'll help hold this on. Uh, hopefully, I got enough washers. Uh, we'll see. What's another run to the parts store, I guess. Uh, so, get that squared up. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do with the front. Um, I did get it laid out yesterday. It looks really nice. Uh, I like the height uh, roughly. But I think what I want to do is see if I can mount this bracket on top of here uh, you can see we already kind of cut this out just a little bit uh, might have to flip this upside down uh, or maybe even move the the mounting holes down so that it lifts the front up just a little bit uh, that last one might end up what we do uh, I think it'll be the easiest so because this this right now rotates nice uh, it'll rotate a little bit nicer when we get the right bolt on there and you know, grease it up a little bit and everything like that. So uh, let's get you on a time lapse and see what we end up doing. Uh, if there's anything else that I decide to do or anything like that, I'll pull you off and, and kind of talk through it again. But I love the way this wagon looks. I think it looks sweet. Uh, just got to decide now if I'm going to paint this black or kind of leave it unfinished. So we'll see. So I think this looks a lot cleaner. I just think it looks nicer. Uh, it got a little bit too long of a bolt, but I think if we went the size down to the four and a half inch, I don't think we'd have enough. So I think five inch was the right move there. Um, what I am gonna have to do, uh, this bolt on the inside here, this, this nut, it's just free spinning. Obviously we can tighten it down, but then that limits the, the spin on this. And as it spins, you can see, so does the bolt. It either tightens or loosens depending on which way you spin. So probably going to just put blue thread locker on there. Uh, just spin it back a little bit. Put some thread locker and spin it back to where I want it. 
and let it sit. Uh, but as I was saying before, here's this side right here. And if you look at this side, I think that just looks a lot cleaner. Uh, ideally, it'd be a carriage bolt situation, but I didn't want to figure out a square hole. So uh, there we are. So I'm going to do the other side, just duplicate that, and then we'll see what we can do about the front. So I've got the other side duplicated now. Again, I think looks just as good. You can see I have it so it's just about as close as it can be. I want the wheels to be tucked in still. I don't want them to be super far out. Uh, I'd rather them be even closer in, but with the wood stake side, that's just what we're going to have. So, like I said, need to remove that bolt, just back it off towards the body of the wagon a little bit, put some thread locker in there on both sides, still have to do this side too. And once that's done, I think the back is, is good. Um, I think it looks great. I think it looks cool. Uh, I think it's the right height too. I don't think it's too low. Um, I'm going to have to turn this wheel inside from our little spray paint trick. Uh, ended up getting some overspray on the wheel, as you always get overspray on everything. At least I do. So, need to clean that up or just flip the wheel inside out. You'll never know. <laughs> so... Uh, just going to work on the front now, so I'll flip this around on the little table for you guys, or spin the table around. But, uh, turns out, just go to a big store and get a rod that's, or a bolt that's threaded all the way. Instead of getting the all thread, which I called all rod yesterday, uh, you know, it's just, it's a mess to, to weld, or not to weld, to cut up. It's, it looks not nice. So I just think this looks a lot nicer. I think it looks more professional, like we know what we're doing, which, as you guys know, we don't. Uh, is there a better solution than what we're doing here? Maybe. Uh, is it more expensive? I don't know. Does it take more skill, more tools? Probably. Uh, the whole point of this build right here, this little wagon, is to be a, a quick, anyone can do, just as long as you have a drill. Uh, that's really the only power tool that you need, is to drill the holes out. Uh, and then just a little bit of ingenuity on figuring out what piece of metal to use up here and, and how exactly you're going to mount it. And, uh, you know, as basically as cheap as you get the wagon, add 20, 30 bucks, depending on your supply costs, and you have a cool little custom wagon. So here's the end product. Not bad. Just a cool little wagon. Uh, didn't end up changing anything with the front. Uh, I think it's all right for now. If I decide that it needs to be changed, uh, you know, with real world use. Uh, definitely can come back and step it up, like we talked about in the video, uh, just to try to bring that front up a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's for really big items or uh, adults, <laughs> but I think it'll hold a kid just fine, uh, you know, take around a car show, either a kid or a grandkid. Uh, and it's something easy. I think anybody can do this. Uh, if I can do this, anyone can do this. So here's both the wagons finished up. Got the Radio Super here with the Burlington tags, uh, old city tags for fenders. Uh, same kind of idea though, lock, uh, nylon lock nuts on the outside, uh, just threaded rod on the inside. Uh, good to go there. Uh, this one has a full custom frame. Uh, it still needs a little bit of finishing touches. Not quite what I want yet. Uh, still very dirty. Needs to get cleaned up. Gonna do some sort of coating to protect it. Uh, you make sure the patina stays the way that it is. Maybe uh, Vice Grips patina sauce or maybe uh, Poppy's patina. Uh, maybe I'll make my own. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and the handle needs extended. Uh, it's still too short. Uh, for what it is uh, being that low to the ground uh, and then, of course the radio flyer which you guys saw me build this time I uh, don't know if I'm gonna match the caps in the back if I'm gonna figure out how to snap those back on uh, maybe I'll just paint the middles red uh, maybe I'll leave them the way they are uh, also I didn't end up changing the steering I think that's gonna work fine uh, if I do need to modify it I'll definitely make a video watching so you guys can see what we end up doing there but I think it's gonna work great for now uh, 
I stood in it and had somebody try to pull me, and I bottomed it out, but, uh, you know, I weigh a lot more than a child does. So, uh, this may be being this low or this style of modifying the wagon wouldn't be good for pulling anything probably over, you know, 100 pounds, 150 pounds. Uh, that includes, you know, all you scrap scrapyard and swap meet guys that are running around throwing parts and signs and a whole bunch of cool stuff in these wagons. It might not be for you. Uh, I would suggest more of a metal frame uh, like this one has, but I think it looks great. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know which wagon you guys like better. Uh, I kind of like the wood sides on this one. Do I leave the wood sides the way they are? Do I sand them down and uh, do a little video on how to stain and seal wood? Uh, let me know. And, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right, thanks.